Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to show you part two of the video that I just started on how to upload your avatar so that it is Quest compatible as well as PC compatible. In the last video I showed you how to upload this avatar on PC and today I'm going to show you how to get it onto Quest. Now on Quest you can't use the Poyomi shaders. We have to use a different set of shaders. In order to get your model onto Quest you're going to have to create another scene. We have this scene that was created in the last video and what we're going to do is go to the drop down and we're going to add a new scene. And I'm going to save the scene as Beanie Girl Quest. And I'm going to make sure that it's in the assets folder. Now this scene doesn't have a model in it. This model is from this original scene. So if I were to unload this scene right now, there would be no model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put back that other scene. I'm going to go into my Beanie Girl folder that we have from the last video. And I'm going to go into Avatar and I'm going to go into FBX. Now this is my FBX right here. I'm going to duplicate this FBX which is Command D or Control D. I just do this because I don't want to mess up the original one. So I want a new one that I can work on so that in case I have to come back to the original one, I can have that there. And I'm going to name this Beanie Girl Quest. I'm going to open this up so I can see all of the materials associated with it. And I'm going to select all of the materials within this FBX. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click Extract from Prefab. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. Now I want it to be in the Beanie Girl folder and I'm going to make a new folder in here and I'm going to put Materials Quest. So now I have its own folder, Materials Quest, in the Beanie Girl and I'm going to click Choose. And it's going to take all of these materials and it's going to put them in their own folder so that I can edit them. So I'm going to take this Beanie Girl Quest FBX and I'm going to drag it up in this new scene. Now as you can see, it's enormous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Beanie Girl that is the correct size and I'm going to look at her transform. And I'm going to do this drop down right here and I'm going to click on Copy Component. Then I'm going to go down to my one that's too big. I'm going to look at transform and I'm going to do the drop down. I'm going to say paste component value. This is going to put this beanie girl at the same exact size as my beanie girl in my previous scene. So now this scene and this scene have two different FBXs and they're the same size. Now I'm going to go back to the top beanie girl and I'm going to copy the avatar descriptor. So I'm going to copy this component and now I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to click paste component as new. So this is going to paste this component as brand new, but there's a really important step that you have to remember. You have to drop down this Beanie Girl Quest topology, go to the body and drag this body into the Visines. Because otherwise it's going to have the Visines connected to this FBX. And once you unload this scene, then all of these Visines will disappear. So make sure that your body is this one. Once you have that all set up, let's unload this scene and let's save Beanie Girl Quest. Okay, now you can see that all of her materials look very strange because they're just automatically set to standard, which you can't even use for Quest anyway. One way of doing it is to go into this body right here and you can see all of these shaders and you can individually change them one by one. But a faster way of doing it is to go back into the Beanie Girl, look into your materials that you just saved for Quest, and here's all of your materials right here. So you can select all of these and change them right away. What I'm going to change them to just to check out and make sure that everything works is VRChat, Mobile, MatCaplet. As you can see here on the MatCap, there's a few issues. Sometimes when you get a model, they need a specific shader for them and other shaders will not work as well. And the reason being Quest has no transparency. So sometimes when you have a PC model, the transparency in Quest is not going to work. Unless you are able to take it into Blender and change a few things, sometimes you're just going to have to live with a few changes that are just not going to be ideal for Quest. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to change some of these things that are a little less than ideal. This looks a little off. The chain right here on her arm is white. Her necklace is white and all of these things which just means that we need to add textures. So let's go through and just make sure that everything is okay. So I'm looking at the body. Body looks fine. The crew neck t-shirt looks fine, the face looks fine, and then these ones are not named. I usually like to name mine when I create models from scratch, but because this came from VRC mods, you're at the mercy of whoever 
named these. So let's click on one and find out what it is. You can either click on select and go through the drop down and find the texture that you're looking for or you can leave this window open and go over here on the left, go to your textures and drag and drop a texture from in here onto this section and it'll apply that texture. For example, let's take the body and drag it up on here and see where that applied. Looks like that was the shoes. So as you can see, I changed the color of the shoes right here to this body color. I'm gonna undo that really quick so you can see that was the shoes. So that particular texture was the shoes. So let's go to Materials Quest and let's rename this to shoes so that we can see that in the future. Let's see what material this is. Okay, so that's the armband. You can see as I attached a color, just a random color, that that made that armband a different color. When I click on none, it goes to none. Matcap is a pretty amazing shader. It works out really well for Quest, and sometimes it's really difficult to get Quest materials to look decent. There's also a really cool feature with this matte cap where if you want something to be shiny or reflective in any way, you can add an actual matte cap. I'm going to include a download for a folder full of my favorite matte caps that you are welcome to use. I've already imported this folder into my assets, so I'm ready to start applying matte caps. We're looking at this armband right here. Let's say I want this armband to be a shiny black. I'm going to drop this into the matte cap area, and there you go. Now it's a shiny black matte cap. If I wanted it to be a silver shiny, I can drop in my metal matte cap, and you can see it shines silver. I kind of like this shiny black one, though, to be honest, because it looks like, you know, something tied around her arm, so I'm actually going to stick with that one for now. You can also use a matte cap over a texture. That also works. So if you had a texture for something and you put a matte cap on top of it, it'll affect your texture, but your texture will still stay. You don't have to change the names on any of your materials. You can just go ahead and do it and upload, but I like to change the names just so that if I come back in the future, I know exactly which one is which and I can change them. Even though this hair and this hat have materials in here somewhere, let's say they didn't and you needed to make a material for yourself. All you have to do is right click in your assets folder, go to create and click on material. And I'm going to call this beanie and I'm going to change this shader from standard to one that works with quest. And I'm going to select a texture. I'm going to see if there's a beanie texture in there. I believe there is. So there's a whole bunch of different beanie textures that you can choose from. And then I'm going to drag this beanie material onto the beanie. And you can actually select the different beanie textures and choose which one you want. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the hair. I'm going to create a material. I'm going to change it to matte cap lit. Before I choose the texture, I'm going to apply this to the hair so that I can see it. And then I'm going to select, let's see if there's a hair texture. I'm going to go with blonde. Now as you can see, there's some white parts on here. And I'm going to show you really quickly and easily how to change that. I'm going to click on this and it's going to take me to my textures. And it's going to show me where that texture is. I'm going to open this texture in Finder. I'm going to make a duplicate of this just so that I don't edit the original. And I'm going to open this with Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you're welcome to use any imaging editor that you can find. I'm going to just add another layer underneath. I'm going to get my fill tool and I'm going to find a color in here that I like that's kind of like a mid-tone color. And I'm going to fill this bottom layer behind it. Then I'm going to merge the layers together and I'm going to save this file. Then after I close out of here, I have hair for copy saved in here and it should show up. There you go. It imported it and there's hair for copy. Now I'm going to go back to my materials, go back to the one that I named hair. I'm going to select and I'm going to find that hair for copy. And there you go. It takes all the white away and it actually creates a really nice look. Because there's no transparency in Quest, the white was showing up instead of a transparency. On PC, that would have been transparent, but on Quest, it doesn't work that way. So I put a color behind it so that you can't see that white anymore. And there you go. Now her hair is all fixed. Now I'm going to create one more material for the choker. I'm going to go to VRChat, Mobile, Matte Cap, Lit. And I'm going to go to my matte caps, and I'm going to drag on a dull gold onto it. Go back to my materials and drag the choker onto the choker. And there, now her now her choker is golden. If you're having trouble with clipping and you can't get too close to it, I mentioned this in the last video. But all you have to do is double click on the body and then zoom back in and it should fix the problem. I believe her choker might actually have a texture now that I'm looking closer at it. So let's go back to the choker and see if we can find a choker texture. There it is right there. And if we take the matte cap off, you can see it's actually silver. So let's do a silver matte cap instead. Let's go to matte caps and let's try out this silver one. 
That one's a little dark, so let's go with our traditional metal matte cap. So that looks really good to me. Okay, I see that the fanny pack has a bit of an issue as well. It looks like the fanny pack has the wrong texture on it. You can see because it doesn't look right. So let's go back in to our materials for Quest. Let's make a new material. Create material. We're going to change this one to matte cap lid as well. And let's see if we can find the fanny pack texture. Here it is, it's belt bag. That's the one that it is. She's looking pretty good, all right. I think that she is mostly ready. The only thing that I see as a problem is on these shoes, this is not gonna go away. The only way to fix having this on here is to take this into Blender, which I will show you in a later video. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna show you how to upload to Quest. Now I'm just gonna make sure that all of my materials are compatible for Quest. A quick way of checking is to click on body and look at all of your shaders and make sure that they're in the VR chat mobile category. We're gonna go back into our top level. We're gonna make sure that our transform is correct. Our animator, we're going to do the same thing as we did in the last video. We're going to add the custom override empty one animator. We're gonna go down here and make sure that custom override empty one is in both of these. We're gonna make sure that our body is the right one that our visemes all match up with these visemes. And then the last step, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your VRChat SDK and you're going to show control panel. And I'm gonna go into my content manager right here. And it's gonna bring up all of the avatars that I've created and all of the worlds that I've created. So I'm gonna scroll down until I can find the beanie girl and I'm gonna click on copy ID. And then I'm gonna close out of that window. And I'm gonna go into my pipeline manager right here and there's a blueprint ID right here and I'm gonna just click Command or Control V and attach. This is going to make sure that my avatar is going to be Quest and PC compatible because it's the same exact ID, we're just uploading it differently. Then I'm going to go to File, Build Settings, and I'm going to click on Android, and I'm going to click on Switch Platform. Now if Android doesn't show up here, or if PC doesn't show up, if one of them doesn't show up, that means you need to go into your Unity Hub and click on your Installs, and then click on this drop down and click on add modules. Once you click on add modules, scroll down here for platforms and make sure you have Android build support and Windows build support added. Once those are added, click on Android and click on switch platform. And then it'll bring up a little loading. It'll import all of your assets to the other side and you just wait till this is done. Okay, once your platform is completely switched over to Android, you can go ahead and exit out of this window. One last thing before we upload, we're going to make sure that our FBX is rigged properly. This is always good practice even if you get this from an outside source, just to make sure that your avatar is going to work correctly once you do upload it to VRChat. So go ahead and click on your FBX and then click on Rig and make sure that your chest is selected and on your head that your jawbone is selected to none and click Done. And it looks like we are all set to upload. So now we're going to go into the VRChat SDK, show control panel, go to our builder, and we're going to click build and publish. This screen should look exactly the same as when you uploaded your avatar for PC. Because your pipeline saver has the same ID, it should remember all of the details, including your image from the last upload. Once you confirm that, just go ahead and click upload. And now your model is uploaded to Quest and it'll be available on PC and Quest if you followed all the steps in this video and the last video. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, and also let me know what you want to see for other videos. What are you looking to learn? What do you need to find out? Let me know, throw me a line, or you can reach out on any of my social media platforms, join my Discord server, become a part of the community. I'm looking forward to having all of you there, and I hope to see you again in the next video.